Find the beauty. I've always questioned, why did the divine make me this way? So weird, so different, so quirky, so unboxed. Why couldn't I just be normal? And in stillness, I realize, I was given a soul that creates beauty in everything it sees. A heart that loves past the average human's ability. An open mind that wonders. Wonder so much that I dare not to care and be bold in being me, swimming wildly in the ocean of grace. And all I come is done, my last is Tori, the whole tale of guided intuition. And I'm here to do your soul guidance on this beautiful Tuesday, grand rising, okay, if you're catching this in the morning, but if not, good afternoon, good night. We know that time does not exist, it does not matter. When you view this video, whenever it's meant for you to see this, it will find you. That's the thing that I love about the divine. I love about the universe, honey. You will never miss what is for you. Even sometimes we think that when it comes to us, it's late, but baby, it is always on time. It is, you are right where you are meant to be in this very moment, okay? Well, I hope that you took some time today, really, especially this week, especially with all of um, <laughs> all of these things that's going on um, on the astro level with a lot of people releasing, with a lot of people having to make a po important decision. I'm glad to report if you're watching this video, you already made that decision, <laughs> okay? And um, that decision is to be about your peace, be about your happiness, be about your growth, be about your evolution, be about the things of your spirit, your heart, your mind, body, and soul. You have made that wise decision. Happiness is a choice. Joy is a choice. Um, uplifting your vibration is a choice. Choosing to see the beauty is a choice, okay? It's a choice that not everybody is willing to make, okay? And this is why you have to be about your peace. You have to be about your joy. You have to be about your happiness um, because not everyone is making a decision um, to be about that. As empaths, we tend to let other people's situations um, plague us. And, and, you know, sometimes... Huh. If you don't have the boundaries or even when you have the boundaries, we let outside situations get to us. OK, get to us. However, everything is a choice. So my beautiful love, I hope that you took some time to acknowledge yourself today. I hope that you looked in the mirror or turned your phone around to selfie mode and looked at you, looked in your eyes, stared at you, cast down whatever little negative thought that came in and look at yourself and say, I am enough. I am enough. Insert your name. I am so happy to be doing life with you. There is nobody else that I would rather be doing life with. I love you. You're so amazing. You're so resilient. You're so incredible. Look at yourself. At some point today, I need you to look at yourself. Look at yourself in that mirror or turn your phone around to selfie mode. Make eye contact with you, honey. Give yourself your undivided attention and say those words to yourself. You know, and if you're not used to that or even, you know, you are, sometimes it can be a little hard, but I need you to not break eye contact with yourself and tell yourself that you are enough. You are more than enough. I am so thankful to be doing life with you. Just say those words to yourself. Just get comfortable with saying those, that, that little phrase to yourself and watch doing that 21 days straight, making sure you look yourself first thing in the morning and first thing at night, the last thing at night, doing that consistently every day for 21 days. And when certain thoughts come in your head, casting those thoughts down with something positive, watch how it'll change your life. That's my favorite thing to do. Because I feel like sometimes in life we can give people, our relationships, we can give work, the kids, everybody else, our undivided attention but us, okay? So no, give it to you, boo. <laughs> One of the things that is being 
made very clear, very, very clear, is it's always darkest before dawn. In order to get to the light, you have to go through the darkness. So before we get to (laughs) um, what's going on energetically today in the cosmos, that poem, so sorry guys, I'm trying to get comfortable. Um, That poem that I shared with you guys at the beginning is actually from my uh, my poetry stash. Yes, your girl, your girl loves poetry. And um, 2021, I'm going to be dropping my baby and sharing my heart on the most deepest level with you guys. Nine times out of 10, um, I resonate with a lot of, if we want to throw titles on there, light workers, male or female, empaths. I like to say all of the, all of those beautiful souls that um, feel on a deeper level. And one of the things that I said in one of my soul guidance is that it is such a blessing and a curse to feel so deeply because when you feel love, it's amplified. And when, which is the, what is the opposite of love that is amplified too. You feel on a deeper level. Um, and sometimes before I really started to appreciate and find the beauty in the fact that I feel so deeply, I really went through a period in my life where I I hated it. Let's just be quite frank and quite honest. I hated that, you know, um, I don't know, people call it seers, you know, <laughs> that, that I can see things, that I can feel things that... You know, a person can tell me one thing, but, you know, I I really see what's going on. You know, it was to the point that even when I went into um, going into like public settings, like the grocery store, you know, and someone accidentally like brushes against me or like I look at a person and I can I can see their whole life story flash before me, you know, to what put them in the current predicament that they they are in. I, 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 I couldn't stand that, you know, or. Even when it comes to love relationships, I'm like, uh uh-uh, you want me to, what? How am I supposed to date when I just see everything? Like, uh uh-uh, you know? I never could, like, separate the two, (laughs) you know? And friends, it doesn't matter because, you know, as empaths, as seers, as light workers, whatever name that you want to give it, I feel like someone that is in tune with their self. So, ultimately, you are going to be in tune with your spiritual as we call it these days, gifts, okay? And I feel like, um, you know, everyone has them. Everyone has this capability to feel so deep, but not everybody is willing to meet their self. Because I feel like in order to feel this deep, um, to experience life this way, we're going to find the beauty because it's not a curse, you know? And I know it's like, Tori, no, but no, it's not a curse. Because honestly, for you to feel and and, and view the way that you do and, and actually use that gift, you know, for the greater good, be it of others, your soul family, a friend, a stranger, you know, it doesn't matter to be so compassionate, to be so just filled with love. I hate, I used to hate the way my heart loved guys. I used to couldn't stand that I was so forgiving and so understanding, you know, to to people that have hurt me. But I realized in reality, that's the gift. That is a, you are a rare gem. The way that your heart has been through life back and forth and the fact that you can love, that, you know, you still find beauty in the world and in situations like to love unconditionally, to to find beauty in, 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 in everything Um, that your hands or eyes touch, that is the gift, you know? I want to say, like, that's in the 1% because um, even though that's the way that, you know, it should be, not everyone views life that way. So I want to let you know, I know sometimes that it can be so so difficult to feel the way that you you feel, you know? And you're wondering, like, bro, why? Why why do certain things happen to me, (laughs) you know? Why does things pan out? Your soul wants you to know that those situations that you went through in life, 
those quote unquote setbacks, you know, those trials, those tribulations um, that I'm pretty sure that they are your testimony now or will be your testimony. Listen, you had to go through that. You had to go through the dark to get to the light. I wish, okay, <laughs> that, you know, most triumph, triumph, that word, stories, or, you know, just out the gate just was beautiful, you know, like, you know, we're going to get there one day as a collective. I'm speaking that in the atmosphere. I don't even care that we're, that, <laughs> that people, that we are going to be able to get to a place of where we feel good, you know, or we experience light through, through some deliciousness and not so much negativity and pain. But for right now, <laughs> that's just the, the common way of how it goes. So I wanted to share that point with you today to let you know that you're not alone. And I know sometimes that it can feel like you're alone. I know sometimes that um, that beautiful big heart, it may put you in some compromised situations. It may put you in, you know, relationships, be it business, be it friends, be it family, be it, be it a lover. It might put you in or even against yourself, it might put you in some compromising things, but I really need you to understand that that is a gift from the divine. And the fact that you can love to the depth that you love, that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. And I feel like whatever life experience, whatever that pain and that hurt is, it, 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 it cracked you open for more of that unconditional love, more of that forgiveness to seep in. And you're truly a rare gem. I want you to know that. Okay? Because, don't quote me, but there's a Bible, there's a Bible verse that says, like, the meek shall inherit the earth. And I feel like those are people that are making a conscious decision to allow unconditional love to lead their life. And that takes, that takes courage Baby, that takes some boldness <laughs> to let love guide you, to let love lead you, to let love be at the center of every situation. You understand me? So <laughs> we're going to go ahead and see what's going on in the ethers right here. Mm, I like this. I love this card, Stardust, and then we have Resistance. Okay, so everybody has to make a choice, all right? And in a nutshell, what that choice is with Stardust here and Resistance here, it's like this. Are you going to <laughs> be about your happiness, your peace, your joy, your evolution, your growth, or are you going to be about things that are in the opposite energy of those things. To elevate is a choice. To be happy is a choice. There are so many things that you can find to be angry about. There are so many things that you can find to be happy about. It's all about a choice, you know, indulging in situations or relationships that are not of your highest good, that are toxic, that don't make you feel good. That's a choice. And I feel like as a collective, everyone is being sent some lessons or situations um, to ask yourself, you know, should I continue this? Should I, you know, <laughs> is this of my highest good? You know, so to the beautiful soul that is watching this video, you already made that decision. You already made a decision to embark on a new beginning, to be about your peace, to be about your happiness, to be about your evolution. I want to read this card really quick. This is all internal with this card. So it says, it's a sobering thought to realize that throughout history, every human has glazed at one point to the stars in the sky. Each set of eyes pondered the reasoning behind their existence, what brought them to be and whether there was more to this journey we call life. As an empath, you experience all things as energy, Thoughts, emotions, pain, nature, the elements all pr present themselves as an energetic situation looking for space within. This isn't an easy existence. 
and soon makes you question why. As empaths, know that someplace deep within, you have a remembrance that we all come from light. This light within your soul has been earned through hard learned truths of experiences. You have learned the difference between that which is love and that which presents itself in another energetic form. It is this knowing that we all come from the same light that you can find yourself wishing that others would also remember this truth. <laughs> so a question that um, this card asks you to ask yourself is, do I question my existence and see my imp empathetic gift as a curse? Do I honor the depth of my ability to love as a gift that has been earned? And this is this situation situation bigger than me. So now it totally makes sense why resistance is here. And one of the things that, you know, I'm like, sometimes I'm like, I wish it was another way. Is that the only way that we can experience it? But, you know, experience getting to the light, experiencing bliss. But nine times out of 10 to get to these beautiful things, you know, um, <laughs> You know, like it's you go through some horrible lessons. Let's think about it in relationships before you get to that relationship that just really is so healthy for you. Look about look at Sierra and Russell's story. You know, she had to kiss some frogs. You know, we got I ain't trying to be funny, but we got Bow Wow. We got 50 Cent and we all know how he be acting at times. And you got future. <laughs> OK, Google, if you don't know who those people are before she got to a relationship that was more fulfilling for her. You know, so sometimes we can question why. Why do certain things happen to us? You know, why, um, you know, be it in career, be it within your home life, you know, your, maybe your relationship with your mother isn't good. Maybe because I know a lot of beautiful souls out there were adopted, you know, so that can pose a lot of questions in your heart and your mind. Sometimes things don't go exactly how you thought it should be going, you know, but I really feel like that is putting you on a different path, a more a path that is more authentic to you. And this is what happens with this Stardust card here. It's all about just like embracing um who you are, you know? The sign, the, you know, the stars don't complain about that they don't get to be in the sunlight. <laughs> you know, they understand that Whatever happened, whatever happened in your life, it happened, you know, um, with resistance here. If that relationship ended, if it's time for that relationship to end, what spirit is saying, take the path of least resistance. Because whatever left your life, whatever you experience, it is setting you up for greater. So you need to know that. It's always darkest before it's dawn. And you had to go through the dark to get to the light. You had to go through the contrast, okay? <laughs> you know, no, but we don't like contrast, but that's the truth of it. You had to go through that to get to the beauty. You know? And just another thing that I'm feeling, you know, because um, there was such a beautiful soul, like, you know, oh my God, I love her to life, honey. And sometimes, you know, as an empath or just, you know, someone who just is, you know, wants other people to get it and see the beauty. And I have to realize that we have to allow other people to go through this cycle. So maybe this is not pertaining to you, but maybe there is somebody that you love, somebody that you know, that you see them, you know, um, <laughs> putting their self in predicaments, you know, or, or not choosing to be about their happiness, not choosing to be about their peace. And as an empath, sometimes we can allow that to affect us. But what, what your soul is wanting you to know is that you have to allow them to go through the darkness to get to the light. It's a choice. And maybe for whatever reason, they're not quite ready to make that choice. Okay. You can either 
get, be about your boundaries. You know what I'm saying? Because that's one thing you, you, when you feel so deeply, you got to understand if I allow that inside of me, that's going to mess up what I got going on. And, and, and I have to be obsessed with my happiness, my peace, and, um, the, the choices that I've made for my evolution and for my growth. And I have to extend that same courtesy, courtesy to somebody else. Sometimes, you know, even when I, I don't know, but I'm gonna give this example. Like, even when it comes to relationships, I realize, you know what? I don't get mad at people no more. I might disconnect from you. You might not quite like that. However, I've realized that we're just on two different vibrations. Think about it. Abraham Hicks always talks about this when, you know, you're tuned in to point radio um, 98.7, you know, but a person that you're dealing with or, you know, some it could be a friend, lover. It don't matter. They're tuned in to point um, 105.10. Um, you guys are not going to be on the same page. I don't care how, how how genuinely how dope they are, how cool it is, how much this situation you know, thrives you, honey, you're not going to be getting hearing what they're hearing and they're not going to be hearing what you're hearing. Okay. <laughs> you have to. So I feel like what's going on is a choice in the sense of upgrading and being on your, on your, on your radio station. You got to look for relationships on your radio station. You have to look for jobs that fulfill you and situations and partnerships and friends and, and collaborations and everything, everything on your station. Like you got to get it on your station. So it's an alignment and, and deep understanding of where you are. It's not that 105 point, what we said, 10 is not, you know, it's to be judged. But what happens is when you're trying to put both of those radio stations on the same frequency, baby, that's just not going to happen, you know? And I had to, um, I, I learned that, you know, I learned that I was like, dang, this person is so dope. Like, oh my God. Ooh. But you know, I seen that we were clearly not on the same wave brain wavelengths. You get what I'm saying? And it's not to, it's not to, um, it's not to, you know, belittle anybody or say anyone's better or any of that, but it's to save you. Like you, whoever's watching this, you, you've had a season, you went through the dark to get to the light. What spirit is in your, um, guys are wanting you to know in your soul. It's like, baby, you don't have to, you don't have to take those harsh, harsh lessons. Okay. You leave those for people that, you know, that need them. You don't need them. It's more so of you. It's time for you to embrace this new beginning. It's more so it's time for you to embrace this light. That's what spirit wants you to know. So, oh, look on the bottom of the deck, guys uncovering treasure beneath the surface lies great bounty so this is what this is what spirit is getting you at you you right here uncovering the treasure it's time for you to lavish in the hard work and the effort and the time and the place the you know the time that you've put into yourself okay so I feel like something is falling off, be it a person, be it a way of thing. And I know this is probably sounds repetitive, but repetition is the mother skill. Repetition is how something will get, will get through your head until it clicks, until you're able to move forward. You know, sometimes, you know, you can read a book one time, but when you read it again, every time you read that book, you're going to learn something different. You're going to pick up something different. Okay. Infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life. So like I said, this is your energy. What's going on energetically is cutting away from the resistance, um, disconnecting from people, places, things, um, beliefs. We know our mantra for this week is my belief system serves my highest good, okay? Okay. I love that because this is truly the energy right here. Resistance. There's change happening. Some people are going to choose to resist this change and you have to be okay with that. Some people are going to turn to the stars and you have to be okay with that too. <laughs> I want to see this resistance. It says 45, 45. Internal resistance. 
The choices I resist present the opportunity of surrender into growth. So right now there's growth happening in the ethers, okay, on a personal level. And what happened is growth that you're experiencing is setting you up for infinite abundance in any form that you desire. It could be um, in a relationship. It could be in career. It could be on your spiritual journey. It could be in your self-love journey. Apply it to your life. But this is what's going on. And I feel like, you know, for some, you know, you're still, you could possibly still be trying to hold on to something that isn't meant or isn't of your highest good. And, you know, for another, you know, you can be a letting outside things, you know, <laughs> um, determine your happiness. No, this is what's available right here because you, my love, you went through the dark and now it's time for you to bask in the light. Okay. You went through the dark and now it's time for you to bask in the light. So with the resistance, it says oftentimes along the path of an empath, Lessons may seem to keep showing up that are reoccurring themes of choices that are uncomfortable. <laughs> this discomfort can create a fierce resistance within within to any change, not allowing the chance to navigate the lesson that is representing itself as a teaching. So again, a lot of lessons are being shedded out. And I really feel for the individual that is watching this, the lesson spirit wants to bless you with beauty. Bless you with beauty. It's time for you to experience the abundance. <laughs> All right. You've already experienced the lack. It's time for you to experience the abundance, the abundance here. Okay. So it says empaths learn best by having an energetic experience experience and making a choice is where experience begins. When your life feels stuck, there may be a missing component of truth that is stopping your progress forward. It is not easy to find your next destination when a page is missing from your energetic map. It takes courage to enter into the fear that binds your choice. But when you discover what awaits you beyond the fire, you will wonder why you allow yourself to miss this opportunity for growth and healing. Some questions to ask yourself. What are you resisting? Are you open to change? Are you open to abundance? Because it's one thing to say, yeah, I'm open. I'm open to a healthy relationship. I'm open to, you know, um, growing my craft, growing my business. I'm open to all of these things. So when you say things like that, you better believe the universe is sending stuff your way. To see like, are you really open? <laughs> you know, are you getting triggered about certain things? You know, are you, are you really dedicated to putting the time, the effort in to grow something? Understanding that there's a process that has to happen. You know, that you're maybe you're not going to be just, you know, thriving and kicking right out the gate. You know, you gotta, you gotta crawl before you, you know, walk. And then once you learn how to walk, you can run instead of just, being birthed straight off the, you know, the womb and running. No, <laughs> you know, so that's what spirit wants you to know. And on the bottom of my hoodoo um, deck, we have the eight of knives. And I don't know if you guys can see this person, but it's kind of at a crossroad. There are multiple decisions um, to make. And what spirit wants you to know is I feel like Sometimes people think, you know, it's better to make no decision instead of, you know, just picking a role. You might not know what this road entails. Um, however, if you make a decision, you will eventually get to see like, OK, is this for me or is this not for me? But to stay stuck, to just to stay in the middle. It's better for you. And it's crazy. I'm about to say this, but yeah, it's better for you to even like. Choose the option that, you know what, you're not, you, you probably know you shouldn't go that way, but at least if you go that way, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You might learn, you, you know what I'm saying? You might hit a pay, but at least you did something. At least you tried. At least you opened yourself up, but to not open yourself up, you'll never know. It could be so much beauty down either one of these paths, but you know, you're, you're in your mind. You're like, I don't really know. I don't really know. Man, 
man, just you need to come into true Sagittarius nature and just say, fuck it and, and pick one, pick a road. <laughs> you just need to pick a road. OK, so let's just see. Spirit, what guidance do you have for the beautiful soul who is resonating with this video or watching whenever they're watching it? What would you like them to know above all? What does their soul want them to know above all spirit? What does their soul want them to know? Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. on the bottom of the deck is a 10 of sticks can you guys see that the 10 of sticks so as soon as you make a decision as soon as you make a choice this is when fulfillment will enter your life clear as day the four of wands for some of you this is a relationship stuff out there to be open to be vulnerable For some of you, this is in business. You know, start now. Just keep going. Keep going. Borderline is you went through the darkness to get to the light. I'll be damned if you freeze up and don't get this blessing. Okay? You put in the time. You put in the effort. You've had your, your stories, be it in business, be it in love, be it within yourself. You've grown like, bro, the blessing is here. You better, you better not let fear talk you out of it. Okay. So I love you guys so freaking much. Um, I'm going to be posting the monthlies on the channel. I love you guys. And make sure that you go out in nature and hug a tree for me and you. I will get you guys on my channel. Take care.